up YouTube people? Welcome to Jasmine T TV. I am Jasmine T. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notification bell. <laughs> so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jasmine T underscore TV if you want to see my daily life things. All right, y'all. We have not had a story time in a long time, and I think it's about that time, okay? Now, last Sunday, I did a live stream. If you missed it, you can check it out here. But I did mention that I went to the doctor the day before. Actually, no, I had a doctor visit the day before. I'll, you'll see why in a minute, okay? I had a doctor visit the day before, and so I'm gonna take you guys through that entire medical experience, okay? My first medical experience here in Mexico City, all right? So, let's go on back to last Saturday. Let's take it way, way back, all right? Every good story begins with what had happened was, okay? So what had happened was <laughs> last Saturday, my leg felt weird, okay? Um, I am dealing with like an old tennis injury. Um, it happened months ago and the typical American mindset is that if you're suffering, if you're hurting, you just wait and see. You just wait to see what happens. <laughs> so even though I was living in Poland at the time, I was just like, eh, it'll be fine. It'll heal on its own. Um, and I just didn't go to the doctor and it, over time it's just been more and more uncomfortable there I'm just experiencing discomfort and last Saturday was the first time that I felt like spasms and like these little spurts in my leg and I was just like ah what is this this is new okay and of course when you have these new feelings these new symptoms what do you do you go to Google right you go to Google and about five or ten minutes on, on Google you just tell yourself okay death right so like <laughs> What else could this be? Because Google is going to scare the heck out of you. So now that I'm paranoid, I call uh, one of my friends who had actually been to the emergency room here in Mexico City. And I was just like, hey, how much did it cost? All right, because she didn't have insurance. I don't have insurance yet. Okay, I'm slacking, but we'll talk about the insurance later on in the video. Um, but yeah, she did say it was expensive. Okay, and I was just like, ah. So then I asked another friend that I knew she had some um, information about emergency rooms as well. And she said, yeah, it's expensive, okay? And the insurance company that they recommended, it's not open on the weekends, all right? So I was just like, you know what? I'm just paranoid. I'm just gonna hold it out. I'm just gonna wait, okay? I'm just gonna continue on with my Saturday. And my Saturday plans included a little date, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know what? Let me go on this date. Let me not worry about anything. The guy's from Mexico City, so maybe I'll at least experience a new restaurant, learn something new about Mexico City, and let's just let's just do that, all right? So fast forward, I go on my date. You know, I'm trying to relax and stuff, but all I'm thinking about is my leg and what's happening. And then the guy tells me that he's a pharmaceutical salesman and that he sells to a lot of the hospitals and clinics around here, and I'm like, ah. He can probably help me. And I start asking him a lot of questions. <laughs> and then I start telling him about my leg. <laughs> oh gosh, I'll probably never see this guy again, by the way, because I'm sure he thinks I'm crazy. But he was so helpful. So if anything, I do appreciate that. Um, he actually started calling around to clinics for me. Mind you, it was after 8 p.m. at this point. Um, he actually drives me to a clinic and they close at 8.30. And I think we got there like 8.35. Um, and so he just starts calling around to a couple of, to a couple more and we did get in touch with this one clinic and the clinic assistant's name was, um, we'll call her Elena. So we get in touch with Elena. Elena says, okay, you can't come to a physical location, but we can send a doctor to you. Okay. So they make house calls. So the, the guy that I'm with, he says, okay, I'm going to send you Elena's information. She just needs your full name, of course, your phone number and your address. So he drops me off on my street and then I just wait for the doctor who's supposed to be at my place in like 60 minutes. So Elena, who is just like, her customer service is just so real. <laughs> so she keeps me up to date on everything. Um, she lets me know when the doctor's on his way. She lets me know, of course, when the doctor's downstairs. I go downstairs to let the doctor in, you know, white coat, medical bag, all of that. And the doctor is just very patient. So I thought I could wing it with um, Google Translate, all right, because my Spanish is not well enough to tell him what's wrong. So um, he, and when I try to use the translator to speak into it and then he speaks into it, he just, he just laughs because the translation is horrible. So I end up calling one of my friends and she's just on speakerphone the entire time to kind of translate what's happening, okay? Um, and then, so the doctor does a checkup, the whole range of motion with my leg. He says, okay, well, I can prescribe some pills or I can give you a shot. And I'm like, let me get them pills, okay? So then he asks if I want him to help me with the pharmacy, like set up the pharmacy. And I don't know what I thought he meant. I thought he meant like calling the pharmacy 
and just making sure that everything was just super easy for me <laughs> just to pick up things. Like, I don't know what I thought he meant. Long story short, um, when he leaves, Elena, the clinic assistant, texts me and says the pharmacy delivery guy will be there in like 30 minutes. And I'm like, oh, okay. I had no idea that my meds were coming tonight, that my pills were coming. And um, yeah, so Elena was on point, the doctor was on point. Delivery guy got lost, <laughs> so I guess I couldn't have three for three. Um, but he got lost and Elena was just like, okay, I'll try to figure out what happened. And she confirmed that he did get lost. And then she messaged me and said, hey, the earliest we can try to deliver it again, um, the pharmacy can deliver it again is 7 a.m. So you can just call me at 7 a.m. when you want your delivery, okay? So 7.05, Elena texts me, 7.05 a.m. I had his news, okay? So she beat me to it. She texts me and was just like, hey, do you want your delivery this morning? And I said, absolutely. Thank you so much for reaching out. Um, and then she says, no problem. By the way, I'm going to get off work soon. Uh, let me give you my personal number and I'll make sure I see this delivery through. And I'm just like, yo, girl, you about to be off work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but your customer service is still here with it. And so, yeah, Elena's off work and she helps me still, um, through this entire process. And it went smoothly after that. And then I had another question and I messaged Elena and I said, you know, um, I do have another question for the doctor. Do I need to set another appointment with him? Like, how does this work? And she was like, what's your question? I'll ask him. And so she sends him a message and he comes back with a very helpful answer that he's not even getting paid for. Okay. So I'm just like, ah, I didn't even have to set another appointment. Like everything was fine. So that was my first medical experience, uh, a house call, pharmacy delivery. And I know you guys are wondering, but sis, how much did it cost? All right. So let me tell you. So after the doctor finished with the entire checkup, um, I paid him 1200 pesos, which is like 60 US dollars and my medicine, which were these pills for inflammation and then some kind of gel, I guess, to just like relieve any pain. I don't know. I ain't been using it. Um, it was $40. Okay. So together it was $40. So a hundred bucks for everything. Um, and without insurance. Okay. So mind you, these were all after 10 PM. So I think that the prices are slightly cheaper in the daytime. Okay. So these are, you know, during regular business hours. So I guess if you got the night owl hours, then you might have to pay a little bit more. Okay. Now let's talk about the insurance that I'm looking at. I am looking at an insurance carrier by the name of Geo Blue. Um, Geo Blue has this plan for if you are traveling for under six months and you are currently inside of the States, but you will be leaving the States. Um, you can get insurance, international insurance for $400 for the six months, $400 one-time payment for emergency services, okay? Um, mind you, I said you're supposed to be in the States to qualify for this. Is that a wink? <laughs> okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. Um, but you call them on a phone and VPNs exist, so do what you want, okay? Um, yeah, so also I think Geo Blue is like in the same network or like the cousin or sister to to Blue Cross Blue Shield or whatever. So most places, if Blue Cross if, if Blue Cross Blue Shield is accepted somewhere, then more than likely Geo Blue will be accepted. I did see someone talk about um, an insurance company by the name of Seguros Monterey. Um, I saw another ex expat uh, recommend that. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I saw that another expat recommended Seguros Monterey so that is something else to look into but I will be looking more into Geo Blue and I'll keep you guys posted on like which insurance um, I actually get. Well that's it y'all that was my first medical experience here in Mexico City. Shout out to the date that I'll probably never see again. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Appreciate you. If you guys have any other questions uh, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. Any comments, questions, suggestions, make sure you do that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jasmint underscore TV. Remember that these vlogs and or live streams come out on Sunday. So make sure those notifications are turned on. It is Friday for me, okay? I'm filming this on a Friday. So I'm about to go out and enjoy my weekend. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, whichever day you're watching this. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, if you have questions after watching this video, you can go to jasminetv.com to schedule time with me and you can read additional information that I have on this website. Um, you can click on this purple button or if you'd like to read testimonials, just click here to the services page and you can see what other people have to say about the consultations. Also, as you'll see back here on the main menu, we do have a product section 
here is where you will find the ebook. All right. So I will be posting uh, more resources here. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.